UF Health as a safety net hospital means that we do take care of patients who otherwise uh, have no insurance and wouldn't be able to get care. So the Duval County here works with the UF Health with a specific program that allows those patients to be seen and cared for. We also take care of a large number of trauma patients. This is the main level one trauma center for both North Florida and South Georgia. Within the Division of Nephrology, we have several different programs. One of the major programs we have is our clinical program that exposes all of our trainees to dialysis, predialysis, acute and chronic kidney disease. Another aspect of our program is translational as well as basic research. The third aspect is an educational program that we provide here in different forms of kidney disease. Translational research goes hand in hand with clinical care and the type of translational research we're doing here has to do with identifying risk factors for the progression of chronic kidney disease. The basic science research program is very important in terms of moving forward in new areas of investigation which might lead to new therapies for slowing or stopping, if not reversing, chronic renal disease. And the fellows are able to learn some of the basics about how to ask the right questions, prepare proposals, and carry out research. Here at the UF Health Jacksonville, we have two trained transplant nephrologists. And uh, we want to make sure that the patients that we serve here are served well. Also, we want to make sure that uh, we take care of the uh, community folks who have had a kidney transplant. And lastly, we also want to give an opportunity for our fellows to get trained in uh, transplant, especially in the outpatient setting. I think our model is very much patient-based with a strong emphasis on clinical education. So we want to make sure that we have enough exposure for both the fellows and for the patients to get what they need out of us. One of the things we are uh, looking uh, forward to is uh, publishing our data as it pertains to access to transplantation and the health disparities that exist in this arena. This is an out-of-state uh, hemodialysis unit offering uh, proteinal dialysis as well as uh, uh, outpatient uh, chronic hemodialysis uh, involving fellow training. It's composed of two units, uh, one with 40 uh, hemodialysis chair and the other one with 24 uh, hemodialysis chair. They both involved in the fellow educations uh, during the fellowship training. The programs that we provide for our fellow trainees are extremely important. Some of our trainees will go into clinical medicine when they finish their, their training, others will go into research, but our exposure to the various aspects of our division and what we provide them helps prepare them for the future no matter what they go into. Simulation Lab is very special to our training program. It allows us to train our fellows with procedures such as kidney biopsies and placing central lines. The Simulation Lab is an extremely sophisticated facility. We can take pictures and cameras of the trainees as they're doing the procedure. We guide them through the procedure. We can then go back and look at the video presentation that was made and let them look at it and see where they went right, where they went wrong, and how we can correct any errors they may have before they actually do the procedure on a living patient. The research has a worldwide impact. Uh, one example has to do with research on the role of glucose transporters in different diseases. Our focus uh, currently has to do with scarring of the kidney. So based upon early findings we had in animals that show that diabetic levels of glucose upregulate the glucose transport system in mesangial cells, we designed transgenic mice to overexpress the glucose transporter, in this case GLUT1, in the mesangial cells when there's no diabetes present. And uh, what that shows is that you can recreate many of the features of diabetic kidney disease simply by this upregulation of the glucose transport system without having diabetes per se present. So it's research that's recognized worldwide, and uh, it's an area that really is relatively new, investigating really new mechanisms about how glucose and glucose metabolism are involved in the scarring process in many different types of kidney disease. We have a couple of uh, other clinical projects in our division. One of them is actually further studying the uh, intradialytic creatinine rise and its effects on the uh, intradialytic volume gain. This is a picture of simulation where you can see that IDCR has a major influence on the volume gain in between dialysis. 
we have shown the same effects uh, clinically as far as the uh, low uh, IDCR values associated with volume gain and actually they contribute to uh, excess mortality in uh, patients. We have great aspirations for the future of our division and the rest of the, of the UF Health. We will continue to recruit trainees as we are currently doing presently. We would like to expand our program. We have a new campus up in the North Campus where we will eventually have our trainees go there and we will continue maintaining the same aspects, educational, clinical as well as research aspects of our program during the time of our expansion.